So you should be able to see my MicroStation screen broadcast here. And all I'm going to do is just open up a, a three-dimensional design file. Now this is a file that was generated from one of the road design products. And uh, as a part of that, we can see the resulting graphics that were created. And uh, along with that, though, we also have a few other things that are going on. As you can see, we've got some vehicles that were placed. This was initially part of doing a traffic animation. Uh, in addition to that, we can see some materials were applied to various uh, pieces of geometry within the MicroStation view window. Now, I want to show you how simple it is to come in and place something like a three-dimensional custom line style. Kind of see what it looks like, process of actually doing that, and honestly, how simple it can actually be. Now here, I'm just going to maximize my MicroStation view window just to give me a little bit more room to work. And, and folks, it's, it's really nothing that's uh, any type of a big secret out there. Placing a custom line style can be done with various element placement commands. So something like smart line, uh, if you want to use a B-spline curve, you're certainly welcome to do that. It's whatever types of geometry creation tools it is that you want to work with. Now that also includes any of the normal settings that go along with using those as well. Now, as an example, I'm going to place a, a custom line style, a 3D custom line style, and I'm going to do that with a, a B-spline curve. Here, I want to come in and place that using through points so that I know that the actual line itself is going to pass through the points that I provide for creating this. Now, the actual line, I'm just going to freehand this in, in this particular situation, but keep in mind that this line can be generated in any number of ways. Uh, this could be something that you pull in based upon survey information. It could be something that's generated through a design package such as Open Roads Designer or even, uh, again, not just simply related to road design, but any type of 3D environment. So it could be done through Ecosim Building Designer, for that matter, if you want to. Now, to come in and actually place a three-dimensional custom line style, again, it's a matter of selecting the tool, setting your basic attributes for things like level, color, style, and weight, although there's a little bit that goes into that, and we'll talk about that here in just a while. And then, of course, the big thing here, though, is to select the line style that you want to come in and work with. Now here in the Connect Edition, taking a look at the, the list of line styles, you'll see that there are many different line styles that are delivered with the application. And these are meant to be kind of a starting point for what we can do with line styles. And so there are some simple basic ones, ones that I know that all of you have probably seen many, many times over. Not only do we have kind of the basic internal line styles, the zero through seven, but we've had for many years a variety of sample custom line styles. Now, with the MicroStation Connect Edition, this has been expanded upon a little bit to show you some line styles that kind of expand on some of the capabilities that the software has added in. And so we've got a number of new things relative to working with custom line styles in the Connect Edition. We can now do things like raster line styles and so forth. But remember, creating and working with a three-dimensional line style, it's nothing new. This has been something that we've had available to us for quite some time, actually. So. Here, in my case, it's just a matter of coming in here and selecting one that I want to come in and work with. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the one that you see here, Guardrail version 2, right, and we're going to get ready and go out and place a custom line style. All right, now, as you can see, I just went ahead and selected that, moved my cursor out into the view window, and I'm just going to provide some basic points to come in and place the geometry. Now, as I do so, just like working with any other line style in MicroStation, you can immediately see this attached to my cursor with that geometry displayed. So I can provide some point locations here. I'm not going to worry about being hyper accurate with that. And then, of course, following along with the settings that are related to whatever tool it is that I'm working with, I can go ahead and place that line wherever I see fit. So here I'm just going to provide some snap points. Uh, we'll go ahead and get moving a little bit here as far as the distance is concerned. I don't need to place one every couple of units. I can go out there and kind of stretch this out a little bit. All right, and so here you can see, I mean, literally placing a custom line style can be just that simple right here. Now I'm going to reset, stop what I'm doing, and then from there we see that the line style now is certainly displayed. If I go ahead and zoom back in, you can see that within the MicroStation view window including the three-dimensional aspect of that geometry if I simply rotate the view window itself. Now, when we come in and we start to take a look at this as far as the placement of the line, there were a couple of things that I really didn't talk about as I first started to do this. 
Uh, a big one is the view orientation or the orientation of the element itself. And we'll kind of get to some of that a little bit more in detail later. But the view windows rotation definitely has a bit of an impact on this. Now, I went ahead and minimized the view so you could see what it looks like in a three-dimensional rendered display. And here, of course, we can see the guardrail just placed and how that appears. And, and obviously, that was a, a very simple and easy process to come in here and place that line with much more sophisticated graphics represented by literally just a simple piece of line work. Now, this is something that I mentioned could be generated by other applications other than just basic MicroStation itself. So if you are somebody that runs something like Open Roads Designer Connect Edition, one of the things that you can do as part of your geometry placement is have it create the line work for you for that guardrail. You can have it draw the line, but then as part of the, the symbology of that line, just simply uh, apply a three-dimensional custom line style to represent that. Now, when we come in and take a look at it, the thing to remember is, though, this is not truly three-dimensional geometry, even though it may look like it here in the view window. So as I rotate the display, maybe even pan around, you'll see that this certainly does appear as though it's three-dimensional in nature. However, it's still just a line. And that's something for you to keep in mind. That has some limitations applied to it then as such. Now here in the uh, simple wireframe display that we were looking at just a moment ago, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate back to a top display looking straight down on this. And we can see the custom line style displayed here, obviously as well. But as I mentioned, the thing to remember is this is simply just a line. And so it's governed by the same properties and attributes that we have for the view window itself and things like the view attributes. So here, just as a simple example of that, if we go into the presentation settings within your view attributes, maybe toggle off the display of things like the line styles, you'll see that in that particular view window, this is now represented as the original geometry that was used to place what we saw as the three-dimensional guardrail. So placing something is a very simple and easy process from the end user's perspective of it. They just simply go out and draw a line, and kind of voila, we have our three-dimensional geometry, as you can well see here. Now, one of the questions that usually immediately comes up then is, can we visualize this? Is this able to be displayed, not just simply in the view window, but can we do things like render this or send this out to an animation sequence, or again, maybe something like Luminar T? And the answer is yes, absolutely, we most assuredly can do so. We'll take a look at that a little bit later on. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.